couple weeks back, I did an experiment. For one week, I had every patient who was willing to try to see if they have any mineral deficiency for zinc. Here's what I did. This is called zinc, liquid zinc assay. It's essentially zinc. If you are deficient in the trace mineral zinc, you pour a few milliliters in here and you have the individual sip it. I'm going to do it in a few moments. If you taste something that's really strong, really metallic, just disgusting, then you have adequate zinc storage in your body. So I'm going to try it right now. Let's see how I do. There we go. A little bit under 5 mLs, but let's see how I do with this. Now, once again, if it tastes putrid, that means I have adequate zinc storage. If it doesn't, that means I need to up my game with zinc. Wow. Whoa. Terrible. Obviously, I have adequate zinc storage in my body. Now, what's the big deal with zinc? Oh, it's terrible. Zinc plays a role with everything. It's a trace mineral, which means you only need it in small amounts. Anywhere from 8 to 12 milligrams per day is really all you need. It plays a role with everything. Immune system. Now, if you go to the store and you want any type of throat lozenge, it's going to mention there's zinc involved. Okay? Uh, wound healing. People that are diabetic, people that have chronic infections, they really need to take zinc because it helps the tissues heal. Uh, sexual maturation and development. Grown men should constantly be checking their zinc supply or should be eating food that has adequate amounts of zinc for that reason. Growth, you name it, even hair growth. Need I say more? Anyway, where can you get zinc? You could always supplement with it, but I'm not a big proponent with having somebody supplement for minerals that they should be getting in their diet anyway. If you're a seafood eater, you get that in all types of seafood. Same with meats, same with nuts, different types of cereals. It's a type of mineral that if you're eating a good, healthy, solid, plant-based diet and healthy protein diet, you should have no problem getting your daily allowance of zinc. If you don't have zinc, that's when you have the issues in your life. So you want to make sure you're, you're eating the correct amounts of food or the right foods that have good amounts of zinc in it. If you want to see if you're zinc deficient, I'm making all of you an offer. Come by my office. Check it out. I'll give you five milliliters of zinc. We'll see what happens. Now, once again, if you taste it immediately, that metallic, putrid, disgusting taste that you want to spit out, well, that means you have adequate zinc amounts in your body or zinc uh, supply. If not, that means you're zinc deficient. If you're zinc deficient, I could go through a list of symptoms, a list of conditions that you may be suffering from simply because of how significant zinc is and a deficiency in that over time could cause some serious health problems. So come on in. Thank you.